Welcome to Juniper Networks Learning Byte. My name is Mario Funus. I'm with the Education Services Lab team within Juniper Networks. In this Learning Byte, I'll show you how to perform power operation on Junos device using Ansible for Junos. So basically, Ansible for Junos is basically an IT automation tool framework that is used to infra uh, for infrastructure configuration management. Okay, so that's Ansible job. And Ansible supports automating the network infrastructure in addition to the computer and cloud infrastructure. And the Ansible for Junos OS uh, library enables uh, users to use Ansible to accelerate the deployment and uh, more easily manage and configure devices running Juno OS, Junos OS, okay? And uh, you can use Ansible to perform specific operational and configuration tasks on uh, Juno's devices, including uh, retrieving information, managing the configuration, installing and upgrading Juno's OS, uh, resetting, rebooting, shutting down, and managing devices, okay? So uh, in this example, I'm just gonna show you the power cycle, uh, the reboot operation, but you can do halt and shut down as well with the module, okay? So with the further, I'm gonna go to the demo. Just uh, let me go back to my environment here. So basically, uh, I have two VMXs on my KVM instance that I'm going to demonstrate in the playbook. Uh, so Ansible comes with a playbook where you can define different tasks. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit and then um, show you how it looks like. So I have these two VMXs uh, that are part of the my uh, Ansible infrastructure. So if I run an Ansible inventory command, and list that will list my inventories. So I have these two VMXs, and they are part of the VMX devices. You know, uh, group. So uh, I'm just gonna show you the playbook that I got configured. It's called Power Playbook. Basically, uh, you know, have some definition. If, I can answer, if, if someone is familiar with Ansible, they will know right away what, what, what does it do. Basically, you know, it basically gonna run on VMX device underscore devices group, a set of hosts that belong to that VMX underscore devices, which is VMX one and two for me. And then it inputs uh, the username and password. Uh, and this is the task defined that will basically boot all the arrays from the device, okay? So in this case, it's going to be using the Juniper Junos underscore Junos system uh, module, right? This is the module library that basically allows us to achieve this uh, task. And it uses the management network to uh, perform the operation. Um, so in this case, I'm going to be showing how to reboot it. And then you will see it's getting rebooted through the Ansible, okay? So uh, basically, it will ask for username and password when I run it. So to run this command, I'm going to do Ansible playbook and I'm gonna say power playbook, okay? And then I'm gonna press enter, ask my username. I'm gonna use my super account, which is lab. Okay, and it's gonna try to run it. Let's see. And it's successful. So I see these things are happening here, as you see, that the uh, device are getting uh, rebooted. So uh, you can check the Juniper documentation for uh, you know, performing this uh, like halt reboot operation or shutdown operation as well. Open right now, so you can basically do halt reboot shutdown, and you can also add like you know delay in your uh, reboots or operations. So you can wait 30 minutes, or you can also specify a specific time when to perform that operation. So just check out the Juniper.net. A website for more documentation because it gets updated all the time. I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.